CTVET 2023 Mathematics Paper 2 Question number 2 On Logical Reasoning CTVET Formerly known as NAPTEX 2023 That's what we are solving here So this question on Logical Reasoning It says Given that the statement X All soldiers were uniform statement why most soldiers are well behaved a draw a venn diagram to illustrate the above statements b using the venn diagram determine which of the following implications are valid deductions from x and y b i jane wears uniform implies that Jane is a soldier. I I Akaku is a soldier implies that he is well behaved. I I I Fusina does not wear uniform implies that she is not a soldier. Alright. So let's analyze the statement carefully and see how we can draw the diagram. So we say that all soldiers wear uniform. So it means soldiers, if we use S to represent soldiers, then soldiers will be a subset of, soldiers will be a subset of those who wear uniform. Then when we come here again, we say most soldiers are well behaved. So it means that it's an intersection between those who are soldiers and those who are well behaved. Now, how can we draw a diagram for these two statements? So we can draw the diagram such that S will be a subset of U. One way we can do that is this. So S is a subset of U. So S is here. U is here. Then S must again intersect W. So W can be here to intersect S. So this is W. Then we also have another possibility like this. We see U here and then S all right in it. Then again, we can do something like this. Still, all the following, all the above conditions hold. We can see that W is intersecting S. Then we can see that, again, S is a subset of U. So here are the possible ways we can draw a diagram. So when we have people here, the universal set being people, universal set referring to people then we have people who wear uniform then we have people who are soldiers then we have those who are well behaved people who are well behaved then we have all those who wear uniform then we have soldiers good So now let's look at the conclusions and let's see who, where we will, how, whether they are valid deductions from the implications or the, the statements. So Jane wears uniform. Jane wears uniform. So Jane can be here. Jane can be here. Jane can be here. Jane can be here yeah, because all those there were uniform. When we look at the second diagram too. Jane can be here. Yeah, Jane can be here. Yeah, Jane can be here. Yeah. Now the question, the conclusion. So let's go back to the statement again. If Jane wears uniform, then Jane is a soldier. Is that always true? Well, 
look at this person here there are people who are wearing uniform but they are not soldiers so the fact that Jane wears uniform does not necessarily mean that she is a soldier so because that statement is not always true it is not valid because Jane could be someone who wears uniform but is not a soldier so we can say that if Jane wears uniform then Jane is a soldier that is not valid and the same thing applies here there's someone here who wears uniform but is not a soldier so both diagrams will give us the same conclusion they are not valid a kakpo so let's let's move on to the second one a kakpo a kakpo is a soldier so where do we put a kakpo so a kakpo is a soldier a kakpo can be here a kakpo can be here a kakpo can be here Kapo can be here. So let's come to the conclusion. If a Kapo is a soldier, then he is well behaved. Well, we have some soldiers here that are not well behaved. So the fact that a Kapo is a soldier does not necessarily mean that he is well behaved. So that one too is not a valid conclusion. So because the conclusion is not always true. Now let's look at the third one. Fusina does not wear uniform. So where can we put Fusina? We can put Fusina outside the region of those who wear uniform. When we come to the second diagram too, Fusina can be here. Fusina can be here. So let's go back to our statement. If Fusina does not wear uniform, then she is not a soldier. Yes, if Fusina does not wear uniform, we cannot find Fusina in the region of the uh, soldiers. We cannot find Fusina within the region of soldiers. So that statement is always true. That conclusion is always true. So what we are focusing on is that she is not a soldier. So that is valid. If Fusina does not wear uniform, it's not a soldier. It cannot be found within the region S. That statement is always true. So that conclusion is a valid conclusion. So thank you so much for joining us to solve this question on logical reasoning. Now in the next video, we are going to look at this question. So please stay tuned and also I'm encouraging you to subscribe to this channel, share this video.